In this video, I'll show you how to add a webcam or a digital camera to OBS Studio. I created a free PDF that you can download. You don't have to provide an email address or anything like that. Just click on the link that's in the description. It'll open up in your browser and then you can go ahead and download it. If you haven't already downloaded OBS Studio, the link for the OBS website will be in the description. And I also put that information in the PDF. So OBS downloads fast, it's easy to install, and it's relatively easy to use. So a few weeks ago, I created three videos. One was just a basic setup for using OBS Studio to record videos. The other video was about adding a, uh, a desktop audio, and the other one was for adding microphones. And I'll put the links for those videos in the description of uh, this video. Adding a webcam is relatively easy. Uh, it'd be, it'll be a USB port. You just plug it in and it should be basically plug and play. Adding a digital camera is a little bit different because digital cameras don't connect directly to the computer. So you'll need to buy one of these. This is a uh, video capture device. I bought this one off of Amazon, it was $28. So what you do is you, you uh, connect your uh, an HDMI cable to your digital camera, and then one side of this uh, video capture device is an HDMI port, and then the other side is USB. So you just plug it into any USB port on your computer or your laptop. The best thing to do is plug it in, whether it's the digital camera or a webcam, plug it into its own USB port. If you plug it into a USB hub and other devices are connected to it, it might be too much of a load on that port. It might be drawing too much power and your webcam or digital camera could either start hesitating as it's recording or it could even freeze up. So the best thing to do, plug the digital camera or webcam into its own USB port on your laptop or your desktop. This is the OBS Studio user interface. Yours, if you've just installed it, is going to look different than mine. So I might be put screenshots up from time to time. So over here, when you first install it, it'll just, under scenes, it'll just say scene. Under sources, there won't be anything there. If you had a microphone connected to uh, the computer or, or laptop when you first uh, install OBS, you'll see where it says desktop audio, and then it'll say mic slash aux. If you didn't have a microphone connected, it'll just have the uh, the desktop audio. That's no big deal. You don't have to have a camera or a microphone connected when you first install OBS Studio. Everything can be added later. So don't worry about that. I'll, I'll show you what to do. So when I, my intro for the video, I had uh, the main scene selected and it had my uh, Razer webcam, uh, the display capture, which is what's displayed on your screen, and then my microphone. The uh, desktop audio, uh, I'm not using it anyways right now. You can see over here that it's muted. So to add a device or images or anything else for that matter, you want to select this plus button. So I'm going to turn myself off. I'm going to click the plus button and then this little window is going to open up. This is for adding a microphone. This is for adding any type of audio output like your desktop uh, speakers or what's going to your desktop speakers, your uh, desktop audio. The display capture is what's on your screen. So I'm using the laptop. It's, it's recording what's on the laptop screen right now. If you have more, more than one monitor connected to your computer or laptop, you can have multiple displays. You'll just name them, name them different to keep, um, keep them organized. 
You can add images, slideshow, all this other stuff. But right now we're going to add the uh, Logitech C920 webcam. So I actually have two cameras connected to the laptop right now. The Razer is recording the uh, what I'm using to record. And this Logitech C920 is the webcam that we're going to add. So just click on that. The reason it looks so funny, like two mirrors facing each other, is because OBS is capturing the what's on the display, displaying it, and then capturing it again, and on and on and on. If you already have uh, a more than one scene, and you have the microphone or uh, you know, a webcam already set up, you could just click on Add Existing, select it, and then just click OK, and you don't have to go through the whole setup process. In this case, we're adding it for the first time, so I could either rename it now or wait and do it, and I'm just going to click OK, and we'll rename it in a minute. Next, you'll see where this window is going to open up this for the camera. And all you need to do is come down here under device, use the drop down, and you can see that OBS recognizes that the C920, the Logitech webcam is connected. It recognizes the Razer webcam just as a USB video device. So I'm going to select the C920. And the reason it looks so funny I'm off center is because directly in front of me, is the Razer webcam. And I've got the Logitech webcam off to the side of the uh, laptop in like a 30 degree angle. So that's the only reason it looks funny. It's just for this video. Scroll down under where you see a resolution frames per second type. Use the drop down, select custom. Under the resolution, use the drop down. You're going to want to select either 1920 by 1080 or greater. If you record a sample video, and I suggest recording one that's maybe 15, 20 seconds long, just to make sure the audio sounds good and the, uh, the picture quality looks good. If it doesn't, if it looks really kind of blurry or grainy, it's probably because you have uh, 640 by 1080 selected in the setup. As soon as we finish up with this window, I'll show you what to do to fix that. So again, selecting 1920 by 1080. I need to resize this just so it's out of the way. And that's the other thing. When you're, if you're doing any type of um, a video where you're recording what's on your screen and you've got your image on there, you're recording yourself, you need to make sure that you're out of the way, that you're not blocking what's on uh, what, what you're trying to capture under frames per second the logitech webcam highest is 30 frames per second i'm uh, i use 29.97 on my video editor so i'm just going to select that all these other settings i just leave as the default so now you can just use your mouse and you can just grab it and move it move the camera window around the screen anywhere you want I have to splice this into the video because I forgot to uh, uh, show you something and um, I think I misspoke. So when you're in the, um, when you're setting up the, the camera, I'm going to come over to properties and the resolution. I said, set it to 1920 by 1080. I, I think I misspoke and said 640 by um, 1080. If you if you have it set at 640 by 480 in the settings, um, your resolution is going to look really bad. So let me show you what to do. Make sure I'm out of the way. So what you want to do is come over here to settings. And we're going to make sure that that's set up correctly. I'm going to turn myself off. So when you're in settings, you want to come down to where it says video and you want to make sure that the base canvas resolution is set to whatever your 
uh, resolution is set when we were setting up the camera. In this case, it's 1920 by 1080. That was would probably be the minimum that minimum that you're going to use for recording um, a video and uploading it to the internet. Same thing with the output scale resolution. You want it set at 1920 by 1080. So that should match, which is the aspect ratio of 16 um, uh, to 9. The reason you see this common frames per second value at 59.94 is because I'm recording this video with the Razer webcam, which is capable of doing 60 frames a second. So then when you're done, just come down here and select apply and then select OK. So now I'm going to rename it. And to do that, you can either right mouse click and select rename or just press the F2 key. And again, you do that for everything. You can any anything that's in the sources, you can press F2 or right mouse click and select rename and the same thing in the scenes. You can do exactly the same thing. Rename it however you want. So it helps to keep things organized for yourself. The next thing we want to do is we want to get this thing resized correctly. So to do that, right mouse click, come up to transform, and then either select reset transform or control R, or come down here and select fit the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and select fit the screen. If for some reason it doesn't look right, it looks like there's it has it's not filling the screen it's got bars on the left and right hand side make sure the camera is selected and that it's unlocked so you can you can lock it also you can lock any of these um, items that are in the uh, sources so they don't accidentally get moved or resized when you first install the webcam or microphone or anything else they're unlocked but you can see i locked some of them Right, right mouse click, come back to transform, and then down to reset transform, and it should look okay. If for some reason it doesn't, come over to filters, and this might, could be an issue with whatever webcam you're using. Select filters. Come over to the lower left hand corner and select the little plus button. Come up to scaling aspect ratio, then just click OK. And then with the drop down, select 1920 by 1080 or whatever resolution that you're using. There is no save option, just click close. I don't need to do this because we, we know it, it, it looked okay. To get rid, rid of anything in the filters or to get rid of a scene or anything that's in the sources, you just click that trash can. So I'll just go ahead and delete it and then close it. To move the window around, just grab it with your mouse. To resize it, just grab any of these control points. If you want to crop the image, hold your Alt or Option key, and then grab the control point, and then you can you can crop it in. So I'm going to go ahead and resize it again. If for some reason your video freezes up and it's not responding, there's a couple things that you can do. One thing is to make sure that the Camera is selected. And again, I have to move myself out of the way to do this so it's not blocking everything. Come over to Properties, just like when we went to set the camera up for the first time. Under Device, select the uh, drop down and select OBS Virtual Camera and then click OK. And then it's going to look something like this. We're going to go back to properties and from the drop down, we're going to select the camera again and then click OK. 
and then it should be okay. But as you can see, for some reason, it reversed. And I'm not sure why well, I must have clicked on something funny. So all you have to do is go ahead and reset it. Right mouse click, transform. And then reset transform. The other thing you might need to do if it's not responding and you tried it with the uh, OBS virtual camera, unplug the webcam, close OBS studio down, plug the webcam ba back in, and then restart it. If that doesn't work, the only other option that you're gonna have is to select the camera, select a trash can and delete it and then you'll have to reinstall it and to reinstall it again you'll have to start fresh unless it's in another scene so let's for instance if the razor webcam froze up on me and i tried everything and the only other option is to delete it I also have it over here in the main scene. So I could just select the main scene and let me do that now. So I could select the main scene and it's in the scene. So I have to unlock it. So I'm in the main scene right now. Here is the Razor webcam. With it selected, I just do Control or Command C to copy it, then come back over into the scene where I want to place it, and then just do Control V. And you may have to make some adjustments. In other words, when I was in the in the main scene, the way it it was set up for recording the um, the intro was like this. It's filling the entire uh, screen. So I could just copy and paste this into the uh, this adding a webcam scene, but I would have to come up here and then then resize it so it's 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 smaller and uh, not blocking the entire screen. So that's about it. Um, if you have any questions um, and, and, and you're having uh, the PDF isn't helping you, just leave the question in the comment of this video, the comment section. I try to respond to all of them and answer questions if, if anybody has a question about anything. Um, hopefully, this helps you adding a, a camera or a, did, uh, a webcam or a digital camera. If it did, I really appreciate it if you'd leave a like and uh, thanks for watching.